Hey, I'm James from Soaking Dead Barbecue, and I'm joining you from the great outdoors, which, if you read the instruction manual closely, apparently is a pretty scary place for the Komodo Joe Connected Joe. So today, I'm gonna make it rain. No, not like that, with water. Da -da. Da -da. Da -da. Well, you get the idea. For folks like me that live in all four season weather, I really do want to find out if I need to be as concerned about what I read the instruction manual, or if the Komodo Joe Connected Joe can actually be left outside where I do most of my cooking to see if it can withstand the elements. Let's get started. So all kidding aside, this is, I think, a very important issue to many people considering something like the Connected Joe. And no sooner did the product introduction come out and I started to see in comments on Instagram, Facebook, this notion of, hang on a second, I'm reading the instructions and it says not to be used under a covered area as well as not to be subject to any rain. And where I am, we get all four seasons sometimes in one day. I think if I could find a clip here, I'll show you an example of my analog uh, Komodo Joe where I was cooking a brisket. It was nice, hot and sunny in the morning, middle of the day, torrential downpour, rain came through. And then later in the day, we were back to hot and sunny. So what would happen if something like this was to uh, occur when we were cooking with the Komodo Joe Connected Joe? And it's not just the Komodo Joe Connected Joe I'll put in this category. I had a really bad experience early on over a decade ago with a pellet grill where the power went out in the middle of the night and there wasn't an alarm or anything uh, that didn't require the power to be on to alert me and so we woke up to a very expensive ruined brisket. So this electricity, weather and components is a valid concern and I want to know are, is the legal department at Komodo Joe just erring too far on the side of caution or does the actual IPX4 waterproof rating which is meant for outdoor equipment to be able to withstand things like rain actually protect the grill uh, from anything that might prop up in an actual cook environment. So today I'm going to simulate some rain and see if the grill keeps working and if I break it I'm sorry uh, but I think that's good information and I'm just gonna bank on the fact uh, that I have some friends at Komodo Joe and a YouTube channel that maybe they'll help me fix it if that all happens but either way uh, this is something that I want to know and if I was you uh, considering the grill I'd want to know too whether or not this is fact or fiction let's get started so to make sure that this simulates actual representation of what we'd be cooking in our backyard, obviously outside away from the shelter of rain protection, I've got it plugged into electricity, the grill's on, I've used the automatic fire starter, and I've set it to a representative temperature like 275 degrees with the heat deflectors in and everything, including the vents, exactly as you would be if you're cooking. I think this is the most fair way of representing an actual cook. So I'm gonna go get the garden hose, carefully uh, approach the Connected Joe with some simulated rainfall and see how we do. All right, moment of truth. Here comes our rain. Well, that's a good start as everything seems completely unaffected exactly as you'd expect that IPX4 uh, water rating to suggest is like a little bit of splashing like my garden hose provided and everything is fine. We're still continuing to cook exactly as we were, beeping, electricity's running, fans running. Uh, but I'm sure you're asking, James, what if it was to rain a little bit harder than what your garden hose can simulate? Say hello to my little friend. So outside of getting a little bit soaked myself, you can see the Connected Joe was also able to withstand the force of a pressure washer. And I worked my way all the way around where we've got our probe and power connection to the back, to the front, the control panel, and things uh, are running just fine. So like, what's the deal here in terms of the manual? I'm not speaking on uh, behalf of Komodo Joe. They didn't ask me to make this video. In fact, when the grill showed up, there's no instructions at all. It's like, do with it uh, what you will. And so all I'm gonna say here is my experience with uh, Komodo Joe and the instruction manual, I've read things like, for example, ceramic cracking. And this is something I've been really worried about well over a decade with any ceramic grill that I've owned. And I actually tried last year with a spare base that was from a friend's uh, warranty replacement to crack it. And I ended up 
filling it up with uh, logs, starting a hot fire, getting 700 degrees, throwing ice in it, throwing water, using free spray, using tension bands. Uh, and I, long story short here, I wasn't able to crack it. So is Komodo Joe maybe being a little bit over conservative in the legal department in terms of the suggestion that this can't be outside? Maybe, I don't know. I don't speak for them uh, or work for them. So I don't know. All I can tell you is from my experience here, whether it be with the hose or the power washer. Am I concerned about using the Connected Joe outside after today's experiment? No, not at all. This completely alleviates the concern that I, or the apprehension I'd have after reading the manual in terms of what I'm gonna plan to do with it. So now when I'm cooking, it's gonna be just fine sitting outside versus under the pergola or any other sheltered area if that's where we want to use it. I hope this uh, was informative and useful for the folks uh, reading the same things that I was reading or watching the same things that I'm watching in terms of whether or not uh, this is a big area of concern, but I'm gonna call this one debunked. That's it for today. I'm James from Sokadab Barbecue signing off. And remember, don't be afraid to fire it up, including in the great outdoors. Thank you.